Hi, it's Will from StormyCastle.com, and this is a project I call the Multipult. It's a multiple shot catapult, if you can see it there. And you don't have to fire off each one individually, you just fire one, and it fires all the best of them with fast secrets. Uh, before I go into, I'm not, this is not a full tutorial, I'm just going to show you a little bit of how this works and how to build one if you want to make one. But let's launch into a quick shot. Let me cut into a quick shot here of it firing so you can see how it works. Okay, so that's how, that's how it fires. It's pretty fun. And here's the most important thing about this. Uh, how, it, how each one, first this one, I release this one and it fires. And then as it's firing, when it goes up, this string here with a little eye hook on it releases the next one. Then this one goes up, and as it gets towards the top, it releases the next one in sequence. So each one releases the next one. It's kind of interesting. And how it does that is, if you can see this here, this, say this last one here is locked in with an eye hook. See it? So what happens is, as the one before it is going, it comes up, as it gets towards the top, it pulls that eye hook out and releases that one. See? So it's kind of interesting. So boom, 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 boom. All five of them get released. So if you want to build something like this, it doesn't take a whole lot. You know, just some uh, squares of wood and uh, some rubber bands. I have one dowel here, nothing really in particular. I just drilled holes through all of these. And the most important thing is, is that for each arm, you're going to need six little eye hooks. So I have 30 eye hooks on this thing. You know, you need, uh, let's look at one arm. You need two eye hooks for the rubber band. You need two eye hooks for the release mechanism. One on the string and one here. Right, and then you need two eye hooks to to lock the arm in place, like this. Two more eye hooks there, so six eye hooks. But you could always improvise something. You probably could use heavy duty staples or something, even you know, uh, I don't know nails. But make it kind of strong. Mine isn't real strong, but you can make this a lot stronger so it fires a lot further. But it's just based on my standard catapult design. Like if you were to slice this up and just keep one catapult, you know, it's a lot like that. This one here, very similar, that I have. Right? Single catapult design. You know? So, that's the multipult. I have them, um, I will have, I will post more instructions about this, more pictures and information if you want to build one, on my website. And the, uh, the, I will put the URL to that link in the description of this video. If you want to see it fire one more time? I'll, I'll load it up. Lots more fun stuff, catapults, trebuchets, all kinds of siege engines on my website at stormycastle.com.